tax on kind of organization. And not, Mr. not to Mr. Reams, the police report notes that the forms did not have Reams' name on them. They were all this stuff. It's all this stuff. My name's on them. But he's writing a report. So he can say what he wants. Uh, previous arrest was subject with a gun here before as a result of a dispute that Mr. Reams had nailed the door shut. I underline this because they never found no gun, and if they had, I wouldn't be here. Right. That's clear. Yeah. I mean, they could be talking about when we had a, a when they attacked the musket outside. I had Diamond with me, I had one of my sons with me, I had a few more guys. They took, first of all, the Jihad had a, had a throw bone. And it was a military move. The Arab guy, you know, Al Qaeda looking, you know, with a fluffy beard. I'll tell you about them later in months to come, about a big murder out there. Yeah. Chauncey Bailey, and it's a big murder out there. A reporter that was messing with Yusuf Bailey, it was a long story. Dave, and you better start messing with somebody else. They gonna be on point. Them, them Arabs, and they would be, like I mentioned, imagine, they would be standing talking to me like uh, I was a piece of SHIT, these Arabs. And that, uh, one of us, I'm moving around the masjid. He's the one that leaned forward. And I said, I told you, I knew you was a low down B I T C H, a police blankety blank. You know, because you put people under pressure, they'll go into their training without being conscious of it. The point I'm making, dear listeners, to be brief, We've been dealing with this subject for years. This part of it, you could go back almost 10 years when Mujahid was placed in a position. But I said to Mujahid and his wife, Sister Khadija, I sat them in the front of the mosque and I told them, don't you worry. I said, I'm going to help you out. I said it and I did it. I said it and I did it. Uh, we don't need to go over all of this stuff. It says the same thing. Uh, there's no other evidence he is CEO. He signed the paper. Anything he just, everything is just paper he signed. Where's the legal proof? In other words, for me to get arrested, there's no legal proof. He says to them, he's uh, in this building illegally. I have the deed. The deed. Okay. So, let me see. Let me get back to it. something like that. But your real goal 
as to what do we talk about? Longevity, toughness, right? We talk about all the time of being an archivist, you know, chroniclers, right? That's what we're doing. Those goals we talk about, that's arbitrary stuff. When, when they attack us, when they do all of this, that's what we want them to do. Because remember, we're writing, this is what we're writing about. Like, probably I'll do some videos specific on this. I'll do a better one on this. But by, by the time I go out to California, I'll have at least four or five very good videos. And I'll pass, I'll send them to all the lawyers. I'm going to send them to all the lawyers. I don't care. What the heck? All of them. I probably might send them here. I might send them to any law school. I might just send them everywhere I want. They're just some videos. And if I send out 500 of them, somebody going to call them. The government can't get every one of them. Because I slip up to a mailbox and I give something to a little kid to go mail or something. You know, anything. It's okay. Don't make no difference. The point is this. Everything that they sell their vessel on, stealing money. Remember our paperwork, what does it say? This is to, to pay, for us here, our goal was to pay that $48,000, $50,000 in taxes. Here it is, January 27th. I ran late in the p.m. and this is $17,684, dollars That's for their taxes. And we gave $500 for the tsunami that was over in because in those days we was going over to uh, Sri Lanka and the governor of the state, Malana, 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 Hafiz Malana was his name, Hafiz Malana. He would speak on our programs and he was the governor of the state. So we sent him with this $500, we sent more later on. But that's what we did that day. That's not ours, that's their stuff. That's $50,000 out of our pocket, if we call it that. But we're not thinking about our, this, that, and other. It's the community, right? So, uh, let me just read a few uh, hadith and then the points will begin to come out about uh, Messiah said, He in fact tasted the sweetness of faith, who is well pleased with the large Lord Islam as a code of life of Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as his messenger, Sayyid Muslim. Uh, Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu uh, stated, or uh, said, Three are the signs of a hypocrite. As he speaks, he tells a lie. As he makes a promise, he keeps it not. As he is trusted, he betrays his trust. Okay, not a hadith say Muslim is calling this hypocritical behavior. Uh, our acquaintances failed on everything. They were given a trust, the masjid, the school. All paid for. All that property. So he goes and sells the property. They go and work with the police and say, I can't go on the property. I can't go. Even the one where I got to my dog on a uh, picture on it, right? And say, send now all this stuff to 5021 East Street. That's a school. I can't go on that property. Okay, imagine like now, right now. If I was a common person, I had the whole police department in Oakland 
waiting for me to come back. This, this is an average analysis. Right? And I have a crew, crew out there that are not restricted by what they say. Like all this paperwork says, where did you get the right to do that? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't remember. Do you have a right to do that? Did you sign some papers said, and took it to the bank? Hashim Alauddin was at the bank with it. All, all, when I'm talking about stuff I know, he was at the, he was at the bank. He told me in the program, the Persian program, San Francisco, two and a half, three years ago. But he forgot, because I asked him a year or so ago, hey, da, 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 da. Uh, no, I wasn't. Oh, okay, fine. But he told me then, he was at the bank in Berkeley, because it's Berkeley. It don't make no difference. Hey, man, we got it going on. All of this stuff is going our way. So if this stuff started seven years ago, on this, it started a long time ago. It ain't started a long time. It's been like this all the time. You got to remember, from day one, from the day we opened up, it was like this. From day one, the only people that went to police was my sons. And they picked up on it fast. They had their own little, and they would say, I had some brothers come down from Denver. They said, Dad, so and so got them B word actions. I said, That's right. So I'd ask, How did, how did you come to that conclusion? My youngest son said, Well, when they're up there speaking, I put a police uniform on. If it fits and it looks good, I said, It's four legs. I said, That's different than mine. I said, But the hell. It's working, right? Because <laughs> he's probably God give them extra little things that, uh, you know what I'm saying? I said, shoot, it's working all the time. Good God Almighty. I said, I don't use that, that uh, process. But that's what they would do, Dad. And, uh, anyway, now imagine that we had to develop Go way back, go way back to you coming out of prison. I, there's a song I liked when I, when I came out on a furlough in 79, looking for a musket, uh, Christmas furlough. And uh, somebody's, da, 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 da. nobody cares about me, or something like that. And I was looking for the musket, and that song, I liked that song, it was popular at that time. Osborne, somebody. Love a stranger or something like that. Jeffrey Osborne. Yeah, but I didn't wasn't missing no love a stranger. I was into that one part. There is nobody to care about me. Now, here I am. You know where you're talking to yourself, so well, brother, you're fixing to go up against the white man again. Well, ain't nobody gonna care about me. But then remember, da 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 da. It's like Listen to the graveyard. In other words, everything's going to be all right. And I like that. But anyway, we've been doing that all the time. There's no other way than for some reason. I just, I'm on their mind. You can tell. You get the idea, I'm on their mind. I mean, I'm really on their mind. Okay, sometimes I'll be rich and boss. I, you know. I mean, maybe you're overdoing it a little bit. But it's perfect. Remember, they're not doing nothing. I don't have to go back out there and do nothing. I can go when I want. I don't like the little financial pressure because, you know, they mess with you long enough. You're going, you know what I mean? It's going to hit stuff long enough. And after. 40 years of just like boom, boom, boom. And finally, you know, people was thinking that that nigga must have hit a lot of money. He must have sold a lot of dope to last that long because they can count. And then we just stroll out there and $50,000. And if they have a fundraiser, we go out there with a cashier check for 
$35,000. And the guy that's raising the funds will look, oh, we have a check for $35,000 from my shit out of town. And then they, they maybe wind up at $80,000 or something. But with $35,000, we did it every time. That's the way we did it, okay? Here's some of the questions that we have to, and I want people to learn. The stuff about Islam. He will not be in a paradise whose labor is not secure from his injuries or injurious conduct. This is a hadith, everybody know it. Well, what about, I don't have the picture here, but what if somebody uh, get a team and, and they can tell, you don't know how much slowdown the white man can gave you, but if you sit at the table, and let's say at that time you're 73, if somebody attacked you from behind, you know, even now if you've got to push to get up, you know what I mean, and if you grab somebody, you're not going to just stand up. Y'all could stand up and be tussling. But for me at that time, so I got to think real quick. So I pull him and roll over. But as I roll over and I'm like this on top of him, there's my head, my head. And that, that dear lady, my head is right there, just like hitting a watermelon. Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah she can haul off and go, wow. And I, I can feel that now. I you know people that, well, I was, what did they say? I was abused. I feel it now. Hell, I can hear it. Feel that? Wow! Wow! You know what I mean? Not, not right now. I don't, I don't care. But that stuff really happened. Now, what kind of Islam is that? Where you're not safe from your neighbor's battery, aggression, and calling the police. Anybody that call the police on another Negro and tell him he got guns, that's what they say. Right. This, these, are, these are documents on the court. He's got guns. He's had guns. He's been fighting the police. And the police is telling him to do that. Do you know how fortunate I have to be to come through that? Because that whole team is on the same team. And half of my team is on their team. Right? That's a lot of protection. It ain't no like uh, I done slipped them. You know, I done slipped the police, you know. And uh, yeah, when we outside and they rumble and tumble, uh, one of my little friends <clears throat> body slammed the guy and his gun came out. Man, the mother two Arabs come there with perfect police form. You know, legs spread wide, you know. And when I'm using that little speaker and I'm standing outside the musket, the guy comes right up, looks at me, reaches down and snaps the, uh, the cord. You know what I mean? And so you're not speaking anymore. All that, all military, Mukhtar's over there, he's coming this way. But Mukhtar is a little slow. He had one of those stoves on like this, except, you know, it has a pocket inside the pocket, and you gotta go through that slit to get your gun. This boy is fumbling, trying to get, and I want to tell Mukhtar, you can't wear no dog on those and then have your gun inside, you know what I mean, like inside here. You know, maybe stick it out of here and hold it in your hand. And dear Khadijah, with her fumbly breast, she got her little pistol. And, I, and the, then the police come. And the police block the streets where they can run away. And the lady up there, up the street said, why they attack that church like that? You know, the be. And now, they letting them get away. All the guys
guys who was attacked, they let her get away, and the police woman was in, oh, she did, she took a quick picture, and went on. So it, all of this can happen, all of this can happen because, so now, let's think. What are we going to do about it? Well, we're going to use it. You know the picture of uh, Mukhtar standing there with me with no shirt on and barefooted and everything? That's iconical picture for this period. That's why we're here now. This period. It don't matter whether it's today or tomorrow, but at a certain time, all of us will come out. And remember, I have documents. I'm not, you have to, I don't want to say have to have, but I wanted all of this like this. I've been at this document, I could have did, moved on this a long time ago. Why am I not moving on it? Because I don't think it's the time. Something's going on. There ain't the time yet. I'll move on it when I get ready. It, is, it doesn't make any difference about it doesn't make any difference about money, doesn't make any difference about income. That's why I wrote on our stuff. I'm going to do this even if we have to sleep on the underbridge. Yeah. That's what I mean, technically. I mean, my family, they can stay there, they can do what they want. But I, I'm prepared to sleep under a bridge. I mean, really, just right under the bridge. Under a real, regular bridge. It don't make me no difference. It actually don't make a difference. It's the job. It's the movement. It's this great period we're living in. Imagine what time we're living in. You know what I believe about boss man? If you're so bad, stop them damn fires out there in California. If you're so bad, huh? Get a little space where the helicopters can evacuate all them people. They evacuated some yesterday. If you're so bad, Joker, cool it down. It's 121 degrees. It was 111 in LA. At the, in LA County, it was 121 degrees yesterday or the day before. And they're fighting fires. Huh? And they're fighting fires. Right. And they're fighting So that means they got the fire suit on. They got 112. Oh, God. What does that oh. even feel like, man? Uh, it's not fun. Oh, man. I'm experiencing it. It's not fun. Gosh. That, yeah, but see, 80 degrees in humidity is one thing. Even 90 degrees in humidity is one thing. But 120 degrees, 118 degrees, right everywhere. 